Okay, I'm doing a little uh, update to show you how to uh, change out hubs. Uh, this hub here was uh, extremely poor shape. It looks like somebody uh, seized the bearing on it at one time. And the hub was pretty well done. I fixed the other side of the trailer. <clears throat> this is going to have my... Uh, I'm going to put my bike up on that. I'll be leaving in about three weeks going up to New Hampshire. And this side here is done. This hub is savable. I'll walk you inside real quick. And I'll show you what I purchased. One side I took it apart and repacked it. It was okay. This other hub here. It's just no good. It's all wallet out. So I went to track the supply. There's the part number. That was, I think, $56, $57. Here it is here. Brand new. All greased. Red grease. The only thing to use. And then I bought these uh, generic uh, Buddy Barons. That's Reese Toe Products. They were, uh, I think, $13 up at Wally World. And you grease these babies up, and that spring comes out, and it constantly keeps pressure on the grease. So your hubs are always always greased. So I'll be putting that on shortly. And I'll put the buddy bearings on. And that'll go in the trash pile where it belongs. Alright, I'll be back in a minute when I have more to show you. Okay, hopefully I can catch myself putting this hub on. It's pretty straightforward. Again, this was a uh, tractor supply piece. It's got the seal, all the bearings, races installed, lugs new nuts. I greased the old spindle. All you gotta do is stick that baby on. And then you gotta go back in the garage and get the washer that I forgot. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I got the washer this time. <clears throat> parts you don't get is the washer and the castle nut. Just put the washer on. So, put your castle nut on. Spend this a few times is a good idea. Nicer than the old one, for sure. Then you just now that's one turn, and the hole's lining up, and it's too tight. So back it off a turn. It even came with a, uh, a new Carter key. Just install your uh, buddy bearing. Okay, three hammers later, I got it in. Yeah, I'm recording. Now all you do, there's a spring in here. I don't know if you can see it. <clears throat> you put your uh, grease gun on. Just pump it full of grease. And now I'm filming this. So watch this canister run out of grease. There she goes. Finally. Okay. See the grease coming out? I don't know if you can see this, but the spring is completely collapsed, I mean uh, compressed. That pushes tension in on that grease, which keeps your 
bearings completely greased up like you want them. Probably see it's still oozing. It's exactly what it's supposed to do. I'm gonna let that ooze for a while. I'm gonna put this boot on, which goes like this. So I'm gonna let that drain for a little while. And it's just that easy. <coughs> Hardest part of that whole deal was getting the hub on. Was getting this uh, bearing buddy on. But that is a brand new bearing buddy, generic bearing buddy, Reese product, and a brand new hub, so it's pretty tight. So if you need to replace your bearings, pack them, or in my case, you need a new hub. I think that was $60 after taxes and $13 for a pair of those bearing buddies. Uh, hub came from Tractor Supply, bearing buddies I got them at uh, Wally Welt. Okay, next is install the new tires I got. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps somebody. It's not real hard. You just have to get dirty.